In this tutorial in Microsoft Word, I'd like to show you how to create a simple program for an event. It could be a wedding, it could be a public event, it could be a funeral. Um, if you want to create a very short list of the things that will happen in the program on a half sheet of paper, here's a very easy way to do it using styles and formatting. I have a 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper here as my default. I'm going to change a couple of things right away, and we have a complete lesson on the next few things I'm going to do. I click on the Layout tab. I'm going to change the margins and make them narrow, half an inch on every side. Then I'll click on the Orientation, and I will make it Landscape. And the third thing I will do is I will set my columns. I'm going to do to move to more columns and choose two and I'll increase the space to one inch so that when I cut this in half there'll be a half inch around each half of the piece of paper. Now let's create a special kind of service. We'll call it special service and let's put a date in. And we'll go ahead and type in parts of the service. We'll have welcome. I'm pressing the tab key, Sam Johnson. And then we'll have a greeting from Lori Hall. And after that, we'll have music selections. I'll press the tab key again from various artists and we'll have selections in honor of Madonna and the Beach Boys and the Beatles and after that we will have <coughs> a uh, presentation tab from the fire chief And then we'll have a silent auction uh, led by Jeff Youngquist. And then we'll have, we'll finish it off with a closing with Sam Johnson again. Now this doesn't look very interesting or appealing. What I'm going to show you to do show you is how to take this and make it look very nice using a few simple tools. I'm going to move to the home tab and each of these paragraphs defaults in the style boxes by being controlled by the normal style, which really doesn't do much for these. We're going to deviate from the normal and change some things. I'm going to click anywhere in the first paragraph called Special Service and click on Title. Now I've changed it to My Title Style. I'd like to center that, so I'll click up in my Paragraph Markers and center it. And I think I'll make it bold. I'll highlight all the characters and click on B for bold. Now I'm thinking I might want to use this again, so I'm going to actually change the characteristics of the title style by right-clicking on it and say update to match selection. And now whenever I use the style again it will look exactly like this. Let's go ahead and uh, click on the paragraph for the date. We'll simply center it. We'll change the font by moving into the font area and picking a different one. And after that's done we will go ahead and enlarge it. And we're done with that. Now comes the part that's a lot of fun. I'm going to click on this uh, paragraph here and I'm going to create a tab. To create a tab with the ruler you need to see the ruler first of all and if you can't see the ruler click on the view tab and make sure your ruler box is checked. I'm going to return to the home tab here and then I'll click on the ruler somewhere over here and it created a tab. It's a left tab. I'm going to drag it over a little bit more 
Now I'm going to, going to double click on it and it gives me the distance, but I don't want left. I'm going to change it to a right tab and I'm going to change the leader from none to these small dots and click on set and then OK. So this changed the appearance of this line. What I'll do in addition to that will, will be I will change the font. I'll make it a little bit bigger. And I can even change the left indent if I want or leave it the same. I'll leave it the same for now. I can also change the spacing if I desire. It's 1.15 lines. I'll change it to a line and a half. I like this. I think I'll probably use this very uh, few more times. And so what I'm going to do, instead of redefining my normal style as this, I'm going to create a new style. And to do that, I simply go to the lower right corner of the Styles tab. And I'm sorry, the lower right corner of the box inside the Styles tab. And it says More. Now I have an option that says Create a Style. Let's do that. Now it wants a name for the style. Um, we can call it anything we want. Um, the characters and spaces are fine. I'll just call it Order of Service. And if I want to change the name of it later to something else, I certainly can. Now here comes the time saver. I'm going to click in the following paragraph and I will assign that to Order of Service. And this one with music selections, I will call order of service. The presentation, I'll call order of service. Silent auction, the same. And the closing, the same. And once again, I have it very nicely formatted. If I decide I want it to look slightly different, well, let's, let's take any one of these. And I will click anywhere in that paragraph. And I will move it in a little bit. <clears throat> and then I will go ahead and right click on order of service and update and notice they all moved in for me. I don't want to do that. I'm going to move it back where it was and I can change my mind as many times as I want and undo that and now I saved it more or less like it was. Now I have some other items here that I want to change. Let's take um, these musical selections and I'll highlight the paragraph Let's change the font. Again, something a little more dramatic. I'll increase the size. And this one I do want indented. In fact, I want to indent it and then I'll make it a bulleted item. I will click here on my bullet list. And that moved it over even more. I don't want it quite that far. We'll move it about this distance. And I'll highlight it again and we'll make it even larger. We'll make it 14. Now I like this. I may use it again, so I'll create another style. Again, to create a style, you go to the lower right corner of the style boxes, click the down arrow, choose create a style, and give it a name. I will just call this bullet 1 in case sometimes I want to do a bullet 2 that's maybe farther indented or something. Click on OK. Now I'll take the, this paragraph and reassign it to bullet one style and the Beatles and assign that to bullet one style. And there we go. You can do this for create as many styles as you want to change the look and feel of your document. It makes it for a nice clean document. If I click on my view all my paragraph markers, you notice I don't have any e extraneous paragraphs. They're all controlled by the styles. And if I want to make this larger or smaller um, in font size and change the spacing, I can do that all with styles. I hope this has been helpful for you as you begin to learn more about the power of using styles on a simple project in Microsoft Word. As you've just seen, this lesson combines a host of skills that you can use as you combine them together and create a layout for some kind of public function that has an order of flow. We hope you find this lesson useful. If you do, here at the Sharper Turtle, we'd like to ask you to like us, uh, give us your comments, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
We're always looking for ideas for ways in which we can help you solve your real world problems by designing lessons around things that you're struggling with.